Welcome back to the Chamber 556 channel. We've got some more real-time reviews. We've got the Old Nations Card Horse. 7.1%, 60 IBUs. It's a IPA, hazy IPA. Ooh. It's got all that sexiness on the side of the can. Roll it for, what is it for the sediment. Don't freak out about sediment. Roll it. Bop it. <laughs> Twist it. Pull it. Ooh. Haze is good. It's got a ton of different kinds of hops in it. It's like all their other ones. So let's crack her open. Have some fun. Time for some real, real time. time reviews. While you're at it. Look at that. Fire. <laughs> I said, I forgot how to do this. Roll the can. We also got the Old Nation beer coasters. Represent. Always got to represent. Michigan you forgot is. to roll it. That's, I already. Oh, you did? We did around a little. Uh, got to roll mine. <clears throat> As he rolls, you can see what it looks like. You like it when I roll like this? Roll daddy. Oh! As always, very sexy beers. Sexy. Look at that. Come oh on, no, I'm dripping. I'm dripping. Look at that. You can't even see through it. Just like always. Still got some left in the can too. Look at that head. That's. I've, hold on. We got a beer cap or something. I can probably put it on there. Eh. Eh. Dang it. <laughs> probably can put a beer cap on top of that thing. Oh my God. Smell good? Oh lord. Oh lord how much. It smells like basically everything that they do. Yeah. So this is one that you haven't tried. Yeah. You haven't tried Greenstone either, so. Hazy IPAs that smell like orange juice. It's not a double. This is a, just a regular just a regular. Yeah. Regular IPA. It's a New England style IPA, sorry. It's a new wave of IPAs. This, this is what smells the, so good. This is the haze craze. Seven percent. It just, you can tell it's thick. Like, you know, you know when you're about to say someone's really thick and then, uh, you get that, you get that tongue and then that lip, you go, you, you start it off like this. Thick. Like, it's really thick. <laughs> you can't see anything through it at all. Oh, it smells beautiful. Oh, God. How to get that? See, I'm sick right now, but I can, I can, I can smell it. It smells good. Yeah, that, that boy is thick. Look at that. That boy thick. Can't even see through it. Alright. Oh my Ready? god. It's just, it just smells like delicious orange juice. Cheers. <sighs> Smooth. Slight taste of orange. Now, uh, Boss Tweed, that one's usually more orangey, I guess you'd say. Orangey. Yeah, this is more subtle. I feel like there's less like sugar in it. Yeah, uh, what does it say in it? Oh, pills, 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 malt, 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 malt. It's more I don't like. Know what is the difference? This is more like natural tasting. Well, the other one's a double IP, so it's double hopped. So. Yeah. <clears throat> this, one's, this one tastes more natural to me, I guess. It tastes like you legitimately put. I mean, I buy four in... packs of Boss Tweed, but this is a definite four packer. Mm -hmm. I guess, you know, eat this. If you really wanted to drink all four of them in a day, you could do it with this one. Super Boss Tweed would just knock you on your ass. I don't taste alcohol in it at all, either. No. It's sexy IBUs, too, so it's a little bit better mm -hmm. than the other ones. It doesn't taste like it. It, it tastes more uh, clean. Like, it goes down really See, smooth. See, last year they made this batch, and I thought it was kind of bitter and not that great. Yeah. Perhaps, like, one of their worst beers that they make. Which is not saying bad. I think I maybe gave it, like, a seven myself. I didn't do a real-time review of it. But now it's... But a 7 for one of your worst beers. Yeah. This one stepped it up. I think they tweaked the tweaked the recipe, I guess you'd say. It's fresh, too. I mean, I think I just... What is today's date? It is... The 27th? 28th? It is this man 10-11, so, you know. How there you go. Old. And that, if you're buying freshness, then, if that if it's that old... Living in Michigan. Hey. I don't know. It, it tastes fresh. Like it, it tastes like... Freshly squeezed oranges, but you can see yourself drinking these. Yeah, it's it's really crisp. Like it goes down super smooth. There's these no are bitter beers to it. too. These are just sit back, relax. Mm. We're sitting way too far. 
What's up, guys? It's your two favorite YouTube daddies back at it again. Yeah. Boost us up. <laughs> yeah, it's... That was Charlie. It's not bitter. It's really smooth. It's crisp. It's... It just... It tastes fresh, honestly. If you guys get lucky tonight, you might see Hulk for Great Dane if he comes out of sleep. He's sitting underneath us. It's a Great Dane puppy. Yeah, which means that he's already bigger than Charlie, if you've seen Charlie. Yeah, he's four months and 55 pounds. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh yeah, sorry. Sorry, we were talking about beer. But, one more. Maybe we can touch on some other things that we didn't see before. I don't know, it's just a complete beer. Yeah. That's a beer. You could, you could tell someone it's an IPA and probably they'd be like, bullshit. Yeah. Th so. This is actually a really good... Anything from Old Nation really is a good starter for anyone on IPAs. The, uh, New England style IPAs too, man. Mm -hmm. They're they're good. They're smooth. If I was to introduce someone to an IPA that says, oh, I, I hate IPAs. I hate the way they taste. I would I'm probably gonna, show them this. I think I'd give them 43. Like, Whoa. I used to hate it. I used to hate IPAs. Yeah, <laughs> but this is really good. Like, what, every single Old Nation that we've had that has been citra hops or anything like that, anything orangey or citrusy, it's just orange juice for men. Like, they have, well, what's what's the other one that's like 9%? Um, Full Earth? Yeah. That was good. We gave that one a 9. Yeah, that was really good. 9, boy. 9. <laughs> this one's up there for me also. I, everything from Old Nation is... Would you give... I think I gave Tweed a nine. I think you give it an eight and a half. Yeah, they're all, they're all really and full. Three and a half. You've never tried the strawberry. No, I'm looking that's at the one I want to try. My rafters. Yeah, he's got a bunch of cans of all the really good beers that we've drank all. Oh, uh, he's drank all up here. Yeah. The beer journey is strong. With it's this start. One. It's almost <laughs> been a, a full year. Yeah, it's yeah. I think we are on a full year. Yeah. Right, cheers to that. Hmm. Cheers to more subscribers, because it make me want to do these more. <laughs> <laughs> but anything, follow me on Instagram. I'm there on every single day, pretty much, posting, posting a new beer picture, so. There you go. Go follow him. He's got an awesome Instagram. I'm up to 1,500 followers now, so, I mean, slowly going up. So He's getting it's it. It's fun. I love doing it. You guys come from his Instagram and go here. There you go. Or come from my Instagram and go to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm ready for this. Actually, I'm going to taste one more time. We almost drink the whole beer. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's full mouth. Like, it's thick, but it's not overpowering, too, which is really nice. Full mouth. Full mouth. Full earth. I'll give you a full mouth. Oh, God. I almost gave myself a full mouth of snot. That's a weird name. I think the name used to be Box Boxer before this. They changed the name boxer. to Cart Horse. I don't know. I had a Boxer. So i am kind of cool if it was named Boxer still. <laughs> but, yeah. Cart Horse is kind of a weird name. Alright. Uh, I don't know what to give it. Really? I, I actually love this beer. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I already know what I'm going to give it. It's not an amazing beer. It's a good New England style IPA. But it is a beer that you go to the store and buy, like, if they had a six-pack, they don't make six-packs. Mm -hmm. But, you know, a 12-pack, whatever. But they're, I mean, 12-pack would kill you in the, in the, yeah, yeah. In the wallet. Uh, $15 for a four-pack. Yeah. So, I mean, they're expensive. But 30 bucks for an eight-pack. This is more of a drinker than those heavy-ass ones that are, like, 10%. Not, not hating them, I love them, but these are a lot easier to drink. They're really smooth. So, Every single one that we've had has been extremely yeah, smooth. No matter what it is, double all IPA. All beers, but I mean, you have two or three boss beers, they can knock you on your ass. That's yeah. The f I mean, you drink them really fast, too. And they're <laughs> big boys, too. Yeah, 16-ounce cans, which I love. I love the 16-ounce oh, cans. 15 to 16 bucks for a four-pack? That's a 16-ounce can. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, that's a lot of beer again. Well, you do one more step, then we're going to review. Gotcha. All right, I got mine. Three, two, one, eight, eight and a half. Oh, I gave it a higher review. Oh. I, I think it's a really great beer. Uh, it's really good. Old Nation, keep it up. Let's send some other stuff out there in cans. I mean, they got some kind of brown ale coming out soon, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, brown subscribe. ale, by Old Nation. Like, like, comment. follow me on Instagram. Follow him on Instagram. Five, 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 six. Make sure you, you yeet your way over to Instagram, and hey, if you see any of this on Instagram and you like what you see, yeet your way over here. I'm cringy. I don't I don't care. 
just come subscribe to just just do it.